Hey, Mr. Chairman, Director Rowe, can you put your first poster, your first demonstrative back up? Please put A up, please. Let's make sure everybody can see it. This is the photograph, I believe, that you took, your team took of the roof, the AGR roof. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so from this vantage point, as, as the law enforcement who are in those windows, as they look left, they should be able to see the shooter clearly there on the AGR second floor roof. My question is, why is there not a Secret Service counter sniper on that roof? So, Senator, we're, um, when we post up, our, our, is, our methodology is to look out, look at things that can see in on our protectees. Uh, so that they can provide that coverage. But wh wh why is there not a, a Secret Service counter sniper there with clear line of sight? That roof has a clear line of sight to the former president. Why didn't you put a Secret Service counter sniper there? Uh, the Secret Service's counter sniper role is to neutralize those threats that are looking in on us uh, from where the protectee is, not necessarily uh, You think maybe position. you might want to revise that protocol in light of what happened here? Uh, they were protecting the principal, and I think in the principal the, got shot. I understand that, sir. So do you and, think you might want to revise the protocol? Let me ask you this. Who is the lead site agent who made the decision to leave the AGR building completely outside of the security perimeter? Who was that? Senator, I cannot give you that name. This person is operational. They're still doing investigations. They're still doing protective visits. Have they been relieved of duty? Senator, uh, they have not I know been relieved their name, of by duty. The way. Why have they not been relieved of duty? They are still cooperating, not only being interviewed by the FBI, but also by our Office of Professional Responsibility. And uh, we will let the facts of uh, the mission assurance and any further investigations play out. Is it, isn't the fact that a former president was shot, that a good American is dead, that other Americans were critically wounded, isn't that enough mission failure for you to say that the person who decided that that building should not be in the security perimeter probably ought to be stepped down? Senator, I think you're using the word decided, and I think we need to allow the, the investigation play out to include. So who, okay, so who did, who, who did make the decision then? If it wasn't the lead uh, site agent, who made the decision not to put that in the security perimeter? Senator, you're zeroing in on one particular agent. I want to find out exactly yeah. what was the entire decision process. So I think yeah. I want to be neutral and make sure that we get to the bottom of it and interview everybody in order to determine if there was more than one person who perhaps exercised bad judgment. Well, sure. My question is, why don't you relieve everybody of duty who made bad judgment? So, yeah, you're right. I am zeroing in on somebody. I'm trying to find somebody who's accountable here. And we so will... you're telling me that the person who made the decision not to include this in the perimeter has not been relieved of duty. What about the person who is in charge of the interoperability of radio frequencies between local law enforcement and, and Secret Service? Has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, Senator, because interoperability is a challenge, uh, is a greater challenge than just one person. On that day, we had a counterpart system uh, it failed spectacularly. As the person who decided, who made the decision to send Donald Trump onto stage knowing that you had a security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? No, sir, they haven't. Has the person who decided not to pull the former president off of stage when you knew that, in your words, the locals were working a serious security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, sir. Again, I refer you back to my original answer that we are investigating this through a mission assurance and as opposed to zeroing in on one, what more do or you need to investigate to know? Exactly what the what decision making process was. What more do you need to investigate was? to know that there were critical enough failures that some individuals ought to be held accountable? I mean, what more do you need to know? What I need to know is exactly what happened, and I need my investigators to do their job. And I cannot. A lot of people didn't do I their jobs. I cannot put my thumb on the scale. Otherwise, what do you mean? Put your thumb the on the objective. Scale? The obje You're asking me, Senator, to completely make a rush to judgment about somebody failing. I acknowledge this was a failure of the Is Secret Service. Is it not prima facie that somebody has failed? A former president was sir, shot. Sir, this could have been our Texas School Book Depository. I have lost sleep over that for the last 17 days, then just like you have. Somebody to and I will tell you, Senator, I will tell you, Senator, that I will not rush to judgment, that people will be held accountable, and I will do so with integrity 
and not rush to judgment and put people I can't unfairly that you persecuted. Are, I, unfairly persecuted. Unfairly, we got people sir, who are we dead. have to be able to have a proper investigation into this, Senator. You said earlier that you've got to make sure that your protocols are followed, and unless there's a protocol violation, people wouldn't be disciplined. I would just say to you, I don't really care that much about your protocols. I think if your protocols don't provide for the fact that when a former president is shot, when an American is killed, when other rally goers, innocent people who just showed up on the day, when they are shot at and critically wounded, if that isn't a protocol violation, prima facie, you should revise your protocols. Senator, I think this is where you and I agree. This was a failure, and we will get to the bottom of it. Well, I hope you're going to do something about it. Let me ask you something else. The Real Clear Politics reports this morning that you were directly involved in denying additional security resources and personnel, including counter snipers, not just to this event, but over the last two years that President Trump's, President Trump's team repeatedly asked for these additional resources, and you personally were involved in denying them. Is, is that true? Senator, as I stated earlier, that is not true. So you never denied any resources to former President Trump's team? Uh, no, not me. No, and, sir. And you, weren't, and you weren't involved in any of that? You no, were never sir, involved in the decision-making? No, sir, I was not. Let, let me ask you just one or two other things here quickly. Well, whistleblowers tell me that, in fact, law enforcement were stationed to be on that roof and that law enforcement abandoned their post because it was too hot. Is that accurate? Senator, I have heard that as well. Uh, again, uh, they posted up inside. And I think moving forward, as I, as I said earlier, we're going to ensure that state and local counter snipers are on roofs. But, but do, you, do you know if someone was supposed to be on the roof? Do you know if someone was in fact? That's what the whistleblowers tells me. That may or may not be accurate. Do you know that to be the fact? Was somebody posted to the roof, local law enforcement or whomever? Uh, I do not know that to be a fact. Well, can I ask you why you don't know that? Again, Senator, don't we are looking at this, and they should have been on that roof. And the fact that they were in the building is something that I'm still trying to uh, uh, understand. I just want to express my frustration, Director, that 17 days or whatever it's been, that, you, that whistleblowers are telling us more than you are, and you don't know, you haven't ascertained if there was supposed to be law enforcement on the roof. That seems like a pretty basic fact. I'm also told that local law enforcement suppliers offered the Secret Service drones, and you declined them. Is that true? So, Senator, uh, one, I've been very transparent and forthcoming. Uh, there Your agency was... has not been transparent and forthcoming, so please, but let's not go there. I have been forthcoming, sir. You've been, well, that remains to be seen. You've been on the job a few days. So far, you've fired nobody. Now, the drones. Thank you, yes, sir. Were you offered drones? Senator Hall. So there was an offer to fly a drone on that day. And why did you deny it? Uh, again, uh, I think the ability of local law enforcement to provide an asset, we probably should have taken them up on it if, we, if it was offered.